It's been a promising start for Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United, but things still definitely need to improve. So, during the make or break summer transfer window, who stays and who goes? Buckle up as we run you through the ultimate Manchester United summer transfer window rebuild. Let's start by looking at who stays, starting with the men between the sticks. David De Gea. Is he past his best? Can United find better? We don't think so, and on his day, he's still one of the best in the league. He's out of contract in the summer, but United will surely extend, unless they've lined up a big name. Tom Heaton is a solid backup with loads of experience and rarely makes an error. He's got to stay, even if they buy a new second choice. In defense, United definitely have issues that still need to be resolved. But who stays for the rebuild? Lisandro Martinez. What a signing this guy has been. He might be small, but he's fierce and tough as nails. He leads by example and has led United to 11 clean sheets, with over two tackles per game on average. Rafael Varane has had a mixed time at United and has not lived up to his reputation. But there is a decent player there, and if he can maintain fitness and a starting position, Ten Hag could yet save his United career. Tyrell Malasia should be able to turn potential into consistency next season, and he'll push Shaw all the way. Speaking of which, Luke Shaw should be kept on. Consistency can let him down and sometimes he's too honest for his own good in post-match interviews. But he's a good outlet down the left. Left back may be an area to address though. Diogo Dalot is a very good right back and whilst United will want better for the long term, Dalot is a decent squad option to have around. Aaron Wan-Bissaka has also had a mixed time for United but the arrival of Ten Hag showed immediate improvement. He's blown hot and cold since the January window in 2023, but his infamous scoop tackles and defensive reading are useful, at least until United find a top-quality replacement. According to who scored, he's their sixth best performer this season. Midfield needs a hell of a lot of work, but let's look at who stays. Bruno Fernandes. Look, he dives, he moans, he's embarrassing to watch sometimes, and there are days he just doesn't want to run. But 60 goals and over 50 assists in 173 games from midfield is incredible. Christian Eriksen was resurrected, but few would have expected him to become so integral to Manchester United. He makes things tick, rarely wastes a pass, and delivers a decent number of assists with 10 in his first 40 goals for United in all competitions. Marcel Sabitzer joined on loan from Bayern Munich. He hasn't set the world alight and fans have expected a little more, but he's got quality and fits the mold of the Ten Hag style. He might seal a permanent deal to join the squad. Casamiro has been a game changer. Aggressive and relentless in midfield, he's changed the team and their win rate without him in the side is only 33%, with 66% being losses. Averaging over three tackles a game on top of interceptions, he's the boss. Marcus Rashford. What can you say? 12 months ago, most United fans would have had the jaded Rashford on their sell list. Now, he's a player they can build their side around. A player who is reliable. His transformation has been incredible, and 28 goals for the season by mid-April proves that. Forget the ridiculous showboating and the difficult start. It's too early to write off Antony. Ten Hag knows the kid well, and he'll get the best out of him next season. Anthony Alanga definitely has a part to play as a squad option. Depending on how many players United brings in this summer, he may lose his position and go on loan but for now, he's just about good enough. Alejandro Garnacho has been billed somewhere between being the next Ronaldo or Messi. It's early days, but he's skillful, fearless, and more consistent than some of his senior rivals. 
he's going to be around the first team squad for sure. Next up, which players need to go out on loan? Young defender Ted and Mangi has potential. He did okay on loan at Birmingham City in 2021-2022. Is he good enough for United? Not right now, but at his age, he needs to play. A good loan next season could help him. Alvaro Fernandez is an athletic and culture left back on loan at Preston. He's looked very good at championship level and will get his chance in the Premier League with Man United. Next season is probably still too soon, so another fruitful loan move is worthwhile. Ahmad Diallo has been good on loan for Sunderland with 11 goals in 32 games. Surely he has to be kept long term, but in the short term, another loan deal is a good option. Uruguayan Facundo Pelistri is just breaking into the Manchester United first team squad. He looks decent, a technically gifted, silky midfielder, but he needs a loan with regular football next season. Honeyball and Zidonic Ball are good enough to keep, but still need loan moves to build their experience. With Kobe Mainu, the decision is tough. He's going to be incredible, but half a season in the championship to toughen him up could be beneficial, and Ten Hag can reassess him in January 2024. Shola Shorttire is a good prospect up front. He's already made five appearances for United. This season, he's been on loan at Bolton and hasn't pulled up trees. But the diminutive and quick striker is only 19 and should get another loan move. Finally, let's take a look at the players who need to leave the club. In goal, the time has come to say goodbye to Dean Henderson. At one point, it felt like he might be a replacement for De Gea, but he's just not good enough. He deserves to be a number one somewhere, but maybe at a mid-table team who will pay a decent fee. Jack Butland will also leave, probably to the championship. Defense time, and it's pretty obvious. Harry Maguire is done at Manchester United. Look, the guy isn't really a bad player, and he's proved his worth for England. But he doesn't fit how Tin Hogg will want to play, and his mistakes at club level are costly. He cost 80 million quid, and even though he's the butt of a few jokes, United will still want around 40 million for Maguire, which wouldn't be a bad loss. Eric Bailly seems to have been around for ages. He's quick, and it's often been said that he should have had more chances. But he's also had injuries, and when he has played, has looked unconvincing. Time to move on. In December 1863, the game that would become modern soccer was invented. In 1864, Phil Jones joined Manchester United. He's been there ever since, and can you actually remember the last time he played? Is this the year Jones is sold? Place your bets, folks. He's out of contract, but you just never know. When Harry Maguire was torn apart by pundits and fans, other United players, like Victor Lindelöf, were also making huge errors in games. The truth is, United probably need a clean sweep, as even with Ten Hag improving organization, the backline still implodes regularly, like the disastrous thrashing by Liverpool. Lindelöf is an okay player, but probably one to replace. Alex Telles doesn't seem to have a future at the club. United fans, do you even remember him playing? Totally forgettable, even with 30 games for the team before his loan to Sevilla. Axel Tuanzebe has just stalled completely. He spent so much time on loan with three spells at Aston Villa, which got progressively worse, a disastrous spell with Napoli, and currently a mediocre loan to Stoke City. He's 25 and has played 37 times for United. It's enough to know he's a championship-level player. Brandon Williams is 22 now, and although he broke into the first team in 2019-2020 with 36 appearances in all competitions, he's lost his place in the first team squad since and had a tough loan with Norwich when they were relegated in 2021-2022. It's time to wave goodbye.
Much was expected of Donnie Vandebeek, but it's been a disaster. He has to go. Time must be up for McFred. To the uninitiated, that's Scott McTominay and Fred. Under Ole and Ralph's leadership, they became the poster boys for mediocrity. Are they United level? Not really. But McTominay has always given 100%, and Fred looks like a different player at international level. Anthony Martial might be one of United's biggest letdowns. Billed as the new Henri when he came in, he's shown flashes of quality, but far too much inconsistency. Worse is his body language in the games, when it looks like he doesn't care. On paper, 86 goals in 286 games, as mostly a wide player, doesn't look too bad. But it's not the whole story. Sell. Wout Verhorst. Sure, he works hard and he makes space for others. But Ten Hag's stopgap was never meant to be a long-term option. United won't make the deal permanent. Jadon Sancho has had an awful time at United. He's had a few weeks here and there when it felt like he might turn it around. But those have been few and far between. They need to cash in and cut their losses. Seven goals in 46 just ain't good enough for this price tag. Agree or disagree? Drop us your thoughts in the comments. But now that we've nailed down the ones to keep, loan, and sell, who comes in to replace these guys? Why not check out the next installment of the Ultimate Summer Rebuild? Click here.